and welcome to Tabletop Baseball Plus. As we are on game 16 of the 1980 or the 1949-84 game on base streak from Ted Williams. Uh, this is the first game of a double header on July 17th versus the Cleveland Indians. Um, Boston is going with basically the same guys. They've got um, O'Brien in center field. Still no DiMaggio, Dom DiMaggio. Uh, he's out again. Uh, Jack Kramer on the mound for the Red Sox. He's a right-hander. And let's look at the Cleveland Indians lineup since it is a new team. Go ahead and look at their lineup. Dale Mitchell, who the Oklahoma Sooners ballpark is named after, uh, in left field, leading off. Batting second, Ray Boone at short. Batting third, Mickey Vernon at first. Batting fourth, Larry Doby in center. Batting fifth, Joe Gordon at second. Batting sixth, Lou Boudreaux, the shortstop. Actually, he's playing third base. Batting seventh in right field, Bob Kennedy. Batting eighth and catching, Jim Hegan. And on the mound, early win, another right-hander. So both pitchers going with righties. And ready to get going here. Billy Goodman to lead off. A 1-7, and he flies out to center. One away, brings up Johnny Pesky. 5-8, and he is a lefty, and he'll fly out to right field. Two up, two down. Here he is, Ted Ballgame, Ted Williams. That's a 1-9. And that 1-9, he seems to get a lot. Grounds out to first. I believe it was the last game he got that two times. Let's see, 1-9 versus lefties. Same, still an out. But. All right, bottom of the first, L. Dale Mitchell. That's the name of the ballpark. He is a lefty, too. 4-7. Uh, 4-7, four seven. Four seven, and that's a single. Mitchell leads off with a single. Gets things rolling for the Indians. Here's Ray Boone. How about a little hit and run? Let's try a little hit and run here. He's going to be a, a hit and run guy. 1-7. Or so a seven, it's off his car, so it'd be a seven on the hit and run, and an A is batter misses pitch. So that means Mitchell's got a steal here. And still need to roll for a lead, I believe. Alright, so we need to find out his lead here. Is it good or not? He's a five. He needs a five. And he gets a five. So he does get his good lead, and Kramer's a plus two, and Hegan is a minus three, so we got a minus one, so that drops that to a 16. Um, 14 for being held, minus two for being held, so 14. And it's a one. Oh my goodness. So possible pickoff. I don't know if you can have that. If, if the batter misses the pitch, how can you have a pickoff at the same time? I don't think so. So I'm going to say stolen base. Because I don't think you can throw a pitch and pick a guy off at the same time. Especially on a hit and run. So batter misses pitch. Mitchell steals second. All right, so Boone is still at the plate. Nobody out. One, six. Round ball to pitcher A. Um, I think the runner has to hold on that. Unless it's hit to, to the right, right side. So one away, Mickey Vernon. 
211 ballpark check home runs. All right, for for home runs for lefties, it's a four. One to four. It's an 11, so it'll fly out to right field. Now Mitchell can move up. That's going to make him an 18. Zarilla is a minus two, so it makes him back to a 16. So 1 to 16, it's a 15. He moves up. Two ways at third base, Larry Doby. And a 6'10 lefty grounds out to first. So a lot happening there, but nothing on the scoreboard. Top of the second, Vern Stevens, 6 7 righty. Second base X. Gordon's a 116. Going 8 on a 16. Makes the play. There's Bobby Door. 4 7, righty. 4 7, single. And it's going to bring up Zarilla. One on, one out. 1 4. Fouls out to the catcher. Two away, Tommy O'Brien, 4-5, right-hander, third base, X, Boudreaux, 317. Uh, 3 and a 14 is going to be a G2, and then a 6 on a 17. Make the play for the third out. Bottom of the second, no score. And here's Joe Gordon. 5'5 five, five, or 5'6, five, sorry, 5'6 right hander flies to left field. Lou Boudreaux now, 3'8. Three, 3'8 eight. Three, eight, single to left. So Lou Boudreaux is aboard. And Bob Kennedy. 1-8, fly to right field. Two away, Jim Hegan, the catcher. 5-8, righty. He's going to draw a walk. That's good. That brings up the pitcher spot. Early win with two away. Runners at first and second. 1-9, struck him out. Top of the third, Bertie Tebbets for the Red Sox. No score, 2-4. Two, 2-4 four. Two, four ballpark check singles. Tough to hit a single here. One. Has to be a one. It's a 13, so line out to short. Brings up the pitcher, Jack Kramer. 111 grounds out to short. Two away, Billy Goodman, a 6 7. He's a lefty, second base X. Gordon, a 1 16. A 1 and 2. Good thing he's a 1. So a 13 on a 16. He's going to make the play. Bottom of three, still scoreless. Top of the order, Dale Mitchell, 2 3. Fouls out to the third baseman. Ray Boone, shortstop. 5-6, he's a right-hander, flies to left. Ray Boone, not the best fielder, 4-E48. But he is the best they have. Mickey Vernon, 2-3. Two, 2-3, three. Two, three, ballpark check singles, again, needs to be a 1. A 20. So how about a line out to second on that one for the left-hander. 
There's Johnny Pesky for the Red Sox. Top of the fourth. No score. 5 4. And he is a lefty. Center field X. Doby, a 2 10. 6. Or how about a 12 on a 10? He will make that catch. Ted Williams trying to keep that streak going. 5 10. Lefty. Catcher X. Higgins a 1. 1 E3. So a 7 on E3. Uh, he's going to make the play. What was it? A 9? Pop out to the catcher. 0 for 2 is Ted. Burnt Stevens. 5-5. Five, five. And he's a right-hander. Struck him out. First strikeout for early win. Bottom of the fourth. Larry Doby, a 212, struck him out. A rash of strikeouts going on, two in a row. Joe Gordon, 47. He's a right hander, one to five single. It's a four, so he singles. One on, one out, Lou Boudreau. 4 2. 4-2 versus a right-hander is 1-10 to 10 single. It's a 13. He lines out to short. So they get one. They don't get one. One out, one on. Bob Kennedy. 1-11. 1-11. 14 single. It's a 5. So the one-star single. For Kennedy, we have first and second with one out. Jim Hegan, the catcher. And that's a 4 11. He's a right hander. Walked him. Hegan, second walk of the game. Loads the bases now for the Indians. Pitcher spot. Bases loaded with one out. 5 8. And early win is a switch hitter, so he'll be batting left. Wow, so 5 8 versus a lefty. 1 to 14 is a single. It's a 7. Single for early win as he helps himself. It's a 1 star single. And the bases remain loaded for Mitchell, top of the order, with 1 out. 312, ground ball to shortstop B as they're playing back. Bases loaded for fielder's choice. Well, first is out. So they try to turn it, but they can't. So it's a, they get early win at second. Run will score though. First and third with two away now, Ray Boone. 6'9, he's a righty. And that's going to be trouble. One to nine triple. Anything else, he singles. And it's a 13. It's a two star single. It's only going to get one home, but Mitchell will go to third. Hegan will score. 3-0 Cleveland. Mickey Vernon. 2-8. Single to left field. Single to left for Mickey Vernon. That scores another one. 4-0 now Cleveland. Jack Kramer falling apart here. 2-7. Ground out to the pitcher for Larry Doby. As they bat around. But four runs. 
for the Indians. Both pitchers went the distance in this game. I cannot remember who won it, but it was, uh, you know, both pitchers went the distance. I think it was pretty tight. All right, top of the fifth, Bobby Doerr. Boston trailing 4 0, 4 6. 1 9 single. Lines out anything else. It's a 9. He lines out to third. One out, Al Zarilla. 6 6. He's a lefty. Pops out to short. There's O'Brien. 4 5. Flies to right. Bottom of the fifth, Joe Gordon, 4-9. He's a righty. One is a double. Anything else, he singles. It's a two. Close. But it will be a single. For Joe Gordon in a leadoff single. Brings up Lou Boudreaux. 6-6, six, six, and he's a right-hander. Pops up to short. Bob Kennedy, 3-7, ground ball to short A. So the Red Sox will turn a double play. They'll get out of the inning. Top of the sixth, trailing 4 nothing. <clears throat> Bertie Tebbets, the catcher, 6-8. Six, 6-8 eight. Six, eight flies to center. Brings up the pitcher spot, Jack Kramer. Um, they're gonna. They are. What are they gonna do? Timeout. Let's talk about it. They have decided to go to the bullpen. It's gonna be Dom DiMaggio pinch hitting, limping up there. He may be hurt. I'm not sure, but he's gonna try to pinch hit three two. Grounds out to the pitcher. That's all he could muster. The two away, Kramer's day is done. Top of the order, Billy Goodman. 1 6, grounds out to second. Early wind pitching mighty well. And they'll go to the bullpen. The Red Sox will time out. All right, it's going to be Tex Houston, kind of the go to guy. Bottom of the sixth. So Jim Higgin to lead off here with a 4-7. Houston's a right-hander. 4-7, uh, Higgin's a right-hander. 4-7, struck him out. 4-7 strikeout, that's pretty, pretty nice versus right-handers. One away, pitcher, early win at the plate, 4-4. Four, four. He'll be batting left. Shortstop X. 227 for Stevens. 11 out of 27. It's a good play by Stevens. Brings up Mitchell. Dale Mitchell. 411. He's a lefty. Ballpark check home runs. And 1 to 4 for lefties. It's an 8. Grand flies out to right. Top of the 7th. Still 4-0 Cleveland. Johnny Pesky, 1-4. Draws a leadoff walk. That's what they need. Get something going here. Ted Williams. 0 for 2. That's off his car to 310. Will be a single. 310's a single, two stars. Unless it was a clutch situation, that's what that means, but it was not. So Williams keeps the streak going, one for three with a single. Gets Pesky to third with nobody out. Here's Vern Stevens. 6-5, right-hander, shortstop X. Boone, a 448. The 448. Four and a 16. This is a G2. Then a 14 on a 48. 
So I'm going to make the play to G2, so that's going to be a force out. I believe, yeah. It's going to be a four force out. Playing normal, trying for the double play, but. So the run will score. But they'll get Ted Williams at second, Vern Stevens at first, with one out now. Bobby Doerr, 6'9", righty, and that's going to be a hit, one to two triple, single anything else, single, and it's a two-star single. First and third with one out, Al Zarilla, 4'8", lefty, single two stars, here come the Red Sox. Scores another one, first and third again, merry-go-round continuing, Tommy O'Brien, 5-6, righty, flies to left, B, fly to left, B, that'll be a sack fly, it's not a question mark. So three runs in, two outs now, Zarilla at first. Bertie Tebbets, 3-11, grounds out to third. Three runs in, though, makes it a one-run ball game, 4-3 Cleveland, bottom of the seventh. 1-11 for Ray Boone, grounds out to first. Mickey Vernon, a 2-6. Single to right field. One out, one on. Larry Doby, the lefty. Possible balk or pass ball. Pass ball check. And Bertie Tevis is a one. No pass ball. One eight. Oh my goodness, Larry Doby. One eight. 1 to 14 is gone. And it's an 8. It is out of here. Larry Doby crushes one over the right field fence. Two runs come in himself and Mickey Vernon. And there's only one out. Base is clear now. Here's Joe Gordon. 6-9, righty. Third, grounds out to third. So two away. Cleveland ups their lead to 6-3 now. Lou Boudreau. 2-10, grounds out to second. But two more runs makes it 6-3. Top of the eighth inning. Tex Houston is not going to bat. Timeout. Lou Stringer will pinch hit. For Tex Houston, 212, 212, a one is a single, and anything else, he lines out to short, and he lines out to short. Hits one hard, but right at the shortstop, Boone. One away with Billy Goodman, 4 7 versus a left, versus. Versus the left, he's a single. Billy Goodman's a lefty. So one out single for Goodman brings up Pesky. 3-3. Fouls out to the first baseman. Two away, Ted Williams, another chance. He's one for three with a single. 4-6, gonna be off early win, and that one to two will be a single. Anything else, he lines out to first. It's a 20, so he lines out to first. Got the hit, though, that he needed to keep the streak going. He wants the win more than that. Time out. We're going to the bullpen for the Red Sox. All right, lefty Earl Johnson on for the Red Sox now, bottom of the eighth. Bobby Kennedy, 6'4", versus righty, third base X. Pesky, 217, 2 and a 3 is a single, or no, 2 and a 3 is a G3. 
And then a 12 on a 17. Is an E1. So that's a one base error on Pesky. Kicking the dirt over there. Runner on. Jim Hegan, a 4 4. Catcher X. And that's Bertie Tevitz. He's a 1. 1 and a 17 is G2. And then a 9. 12 on a 7. So G2. Playing normal. Force out. I knew that, but I was thinking of the catcher. Might be different. Nope. Two. So fielder's choice. Egan reaches. Brings up early win. He's going to bat. And a 3-5. Ground ball to short A. So double play ball by early win. Gets him out of the inning. Go to the last call for the Red Sox. Top of the ninth. Down 6-3. And here's Burns Stevens. 1-4. Rounds out to short. One away, Bobby Doerr. 6-6, six, six, righty. Pops out to short. Down their last out, Al Zarilla. Big left-hander. 5-9, five, 5-9, nine. Five, nine. it's going to be a hit, one's a triple, anything else doubles, he doubles, so Al Zarilla refuses to lose, refuses to be that last out, here's Tommy O'Brien, 2-8, two, 2-8 eight. Two, eight is a single to left field, but it's got the um, clutch hitting, so it's going to be a pop out. Instead of a single, it is a pop out to short. That ends the ball game because there was a runner in second was with two outs. So that's the ball game. Red Sox lose it, but Ted Williams' streak continues. He goes one for four. Good pitching performance by early win. Keeps him a little bit at bay. No RBIs, no walks, no strikeouts. Um, just a one for four day and a loss. And so that is all for game 16. We will continue with game 17. Until then, you guys take care and God bless.